Hi Leon, getting Korok seeds may be one of the most annoying things to do in Breath of the Wild. But today, we'll learn a glitch to get 5 Korok seeds for the price of 1. If you've seen how to duplicate materials or spirit orbs, it's basically the same thing. You can check the cards in the corner or the links in the description for those videos. So what we're going to do is transform any material into Korok seeds. The requirements for this glitch is to have a material that you're okay with completely getting rid of, You need to have zero Korok seeds in your inventory. You need to have a Korok seed available to get. And you need enough multi-shot bows to allow you to overload the menu, which I'll explain later. By the way, there is also a glitch to get infinite Korok seeds, but it requires you to not have gotten a specific Korok seed. You can also check the card in the corner or the link in the description for that short video. First thing we need to do is get to a place where you can sell your materials. We're gonna go to the East Akala stable because I can sell things to Beetle and also there's a Korok seed close by. Now we have to overload the menu. Here's a clip from a previous video of me explaining how to overload your menu. You need to equip Link with a multi-shot bow and a lightning arrow. Go to the overworld, make sure Link is holding the bow. This is a common detail that people forget to do. Go to the inventory, drop equip bow, Equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Do this until Link looks funny or disappears. And now the menu is overloaded. For multi-shot bows, you can defeat some Lynels or go to the shrine by the Yiga hideout. You should fight one foot soldier on the way to the hideout then drop down the cliff for another. Then, three of them in front of the hideout. And one more bow laying on the ground inside the entrance of the Yiga clan hideout. If you need a seventh bow, you can either go to the end of the hideout for another duplex bow, or go to the small cave in the Lanaru wetlands. There is the forest dweller bow inside there. And if you didn't open this chest yet, there's one Forest Dweller Bow in the chest on Satori Mountain. After the menu is overloaded, go to the material that you don't need anymore because it will be transformed. I'm going to use diamonds just for fun. You can only transform up to 5 materials because that's the most Link can hold. After you hold the amount that you want to transform, you can then pick up the bows after you've overloaded the menu. You don't need to do this part, but if you look in your inventory, you'll see that Link is holding invisible materials. That's what you want. Again, you don't have to check if you know you overloaded correctly, but either way, let's go sell the rest of your diamonds or whatever you're using to Beetle. From here, the next thing you pick up that's not in your inventory will be duplicated. So go get the unfinished Korok and get that seed. When you receive it, press plus to go into your inventory. Then you can press X while in your inventory and Link will put the invisible materials in his pocket and they will become Korok seeds. Before we celebrate what we did, there's two things I want to mention. First, even though getting 5 Korok seeds seems like a good idea, it would be better to get the exact amount needed for Hestu to make the Koroks zero. So if Hestu is asking for 4, get only 4 Korok Seeds. This way you can have 0 when you trade them in. Then you can do the glitch again. However, after Hestu starts asking for more than 5, then getting 5 and then finding Korok Seeds naturally is probably your best option. And the second note, after you do the overloading and sell your materials, you can fast travel and still get the Korok for the glitch to work. Just don't take too too long to get the Korok.
Yay, we did it! And if you want, you can also do this with spirit orbs. You can check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you did. And if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. See you next time!